What's up guys? JD here bringing you another video. I hope everyone's doing well today. Today I'm actually really excited to talk about my very first cold steel knife. This is the code 4. I picked this up recently. I've never had a cold steel before so I'm anxious to talk about it with you guys, give you my first impressions and some comparisons. Let's take it over to the bench and have a closer look at this one. All right guys, back over at the bench. Like I said, I'm very excited to talk about my very first cold steel knife. And these are what I would consider a statement piece. Um, I went with the Code 4 because it was probably the most subdued cold steel that I had been looking at that I really like. Um, the particular model that I have is the S35VN uh, made in Taiwan, and I believe a lot of their knives are made in Taiwan. I don't think that they have any China knives, but I haven't looked at a whole lot of models. There's just a few that I've looked at. Um, like I said, I really like the, the triad lock, um, the thought of the triad lock, and everything that I've seen as far as reviews about this lock is that it's a very strong lock. Uh, it does have a, a very smooth action, but when it's coming against the, it's really hard to do against the camera. When it comes against the triad lock, it does keep it from moving around real easy. Let me give you guys an idea of the presence of this knife. So my, one of my favorite uh, budget carry knives is the Ontario Rat 2 with my titanium copper scales. And as you can see, the code four from cold steel dwarfs this knife um, another knife that i like and i have done in my reviews is the civivi brazen and this knife also still looks relatively small by comparison as you can see here so let me give you guys a couple of other knives to look at here you have the ever popular civivi elementum and the ever popular Spyderco Paramilitary 2. Trying to line those pivots up for you so you guys can get a real sense of the difference in size. One more knife that I haven't necessarily done a review on just yet, but I am very excited to do one in the future, is going to be the Hogue Doug Ritiker N20CV. Also a very big knife. And as you can see here, the Hoag's overall presence is dwarfed by the Code 4. Now, the knife itself feels really well made. The aluminum scales on here, they, they probably come off as a green, but it's actually really just a dark gray. And again, it does have, and it's really hard to get it to do it on camera because of the angle, a drop shut. Um, one thing that I thought that was very unique that I did not know about before ordering this particular knife is that it doesn't have a reversible pocket clip, but instead it comes with a right hand and a left hand carry due to the curved nature because the curved nature would have caused this to curve back. They actually give you a right hand and a left hand um, pocket clip. Now, the one thing that I will say that is um, very interesting with this triad lock is that this particular piece here I wasn't sure why they didn't have the blade edge coming closer towards the grip and what I realized is that if you're operating the triad lock and it's dropping shut that actually will prevent it from actually catching your fingers and nicking it so I, I think and that's what it seems like that's a preventive measure that they design into the knife. As you can see here, it's the S35 Yen, which is a really good knife steel. What I do actually like to carry with this particular knife, it's really hard to get it in frame, it's so large, is my pocket organizer with my Victoria Knox Super Tinker in the green, OD green micarta scales, even though this is really more of a dark gray coating on the aluminum scales my i3 t eos in od green which is actually really quite a contrasting color i haven't really been able to find an od green pin that kind of goes in the pocket organizer uh, very well so i've been using my black fisher space pin and my favorite wallet right now is the redeemed creations um, that i like to carry with this particular setup 
One other thing that I'd like to do um, before I get back to the knife, I'd like to give you a comparison of profile to the other knives that I did earlier. Let me give you the comparison on the profiles. Here it is against the Civivi Elementum. As you can see, this is much slimmer uh, than the Elementum. Here it is against the Ontario Rat 2. Sorry, I'm trying to line that up. As you can see, it is slimmer than the Rat 2. Here it is against the Hogue Ritiker, which you can tell it is full grip knife. Here it is against the Brazen. And one more knife, the Spyderco PMT. So even though this knife is really large, the blade centering and the quality of this knife is outstanding. And like I said, its presence and, and the overall knife itself is quite the statement piece. And I did go with the Code 4 because I felt like this was probably the least of a statement knife out of their current lineup of knives that I am interested in and that I like. And again, it's just a really cool piece. I have seen many reviews, videos, um, and folks talking about Cold Steel. And a lot of the knives that they do are just a very aggressive like i mentioned a statement piece type knife and a lot of the reviews and videos that i've seen from folks that talk about the triad lock and the knife in general is the the build quality the impressiveness of the strength of the triad lock and how it's meant to kind of stand the test of time and the way that it's um, built to work with the pivot uh, it's supposed to have a lot of bite here so that even over many 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 years of use that that lock and the play on the lock is going to work really really well let me know what you guys think do you like the code for what do you think of cold steel in general and there are there other knives that you would recommend from cold steel for me to check out because i will say this one particular knife even though it's probably not their biggest statement knife that's out there. There's a bunch that are out there that I think have much more presence, uh, that are much bigger. Uh, I mean, this thing just fills up the hand. I'm just like sitting here looking at it. I'm just in all of the knife's size. Um, and yet still, the grip is really, really nice. Uh, it does stick out enough on either side. I know it's hard to get on video, but it does stick out the back just ever so slightly but it actually feels really good in hand um but anyway as i was saying let me know what you would recommend and what you think about the code for in the comments if you enjoyed the video leave a like for me and if you're enjoying the content feel free to check out some of the other videos that i have on the channel i'd love to have you join the community it really helps the channel out that's it for me on the code for guys like i said i was really excited to talk about this knife with you thanks for tuning in peace